We're trading Bitcoin tonight. I wrote a script for Bitcoin. I had to add two zeros to the pre-existing single drops we'll be using in the uh, demo. I'm going single drop demo in the other video that I'm going to record right after this Bitcoin. But I see Bitcoin's open and I see it got filled on a ticket that had just created this monster, unbelievable $3,000 stop to make $5,000. Or 3,000 pips. I don't even know. When I got into this trade, I was literally down on a 1K. I don't know who's trading this account. You cannot trade this puppy. There is no, you need a nano version of this account. I was down uh, 1,200 on the fill. I'm up, 10, I'm up, uh, from there I'm up, right? Um, I pay for 10% 10, 10 I'm up 90%, right? So I could take all profits, but what it's about is getting this script right. This is the monthly, I'm sorry, the weekly, uh, so we're scalping on the weekly, so to speak. We're buying the doji. This is a triangle. This is a um, flat spot. This is a uh, pivot. It's a pivot. So we're buying the pivot right now, and they've trapped the bulls in the market. Now, at any point, I got to think, $14,000, <laughs> I just made in like two hours. One fucking position. And, and that's with leverage, apparently. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm using $40,000 of margin. I, I, they're going to have to change. Before I trade Bitcoin here, they're going to have to bring it down a little bit. I'm going to bring, reel it in just a little bit. <laughs> I'm to trade a, I want to trade a nano lot here at the Bitcoin Incorporated. Look, I'm in from down here. So look at the 15-minute. Would you get out? I would hold. I would hold through this top. Why? This is the stairway to heaven. Right? Stairway to heaven. Wait till we get here, we'll dump. And think that take profit is not from those other tickets. I'm actually down on the count because I wrote tickets that were apparently a little bit too <clears throat> far away from that. Because even this ticket here at 300 pips, you can't run this ticket. You have to set the single drops that I'll be trading all next week on the demo. Single drop demo is going to be the format. I, I just uploaded it without audio. It's, it's tough sledding. Now, if I go to the line chart, it looks like this. See the perfect, right? Perfect, and it's perfect touches. So if you draw your channels on, you can always turn the candles on. This is what I call wax on, wax off. This is the 15 minute. Stairway to heaven. Right? Can't make this stuff up. Let me thicken the channel up. I just did the... Uh, the current channel you're on. Don't speculate too far out there. The current channel you're on. The blue channel. Now we turn... That's wax off. And this is wax on. This is Karate Kid trading. See how the wicks poke through that? The question there is, when the ATR gets small like this, we know there are stops waiting to get hit on the way up. Right here would be the trap, but we're going to endure that. And the problem I have with candlesticks is, see how this candle's pointing outside the channel right now? That looks odd. Now, for the guys that write... Um, that do the uh, stuff on the wicks. I'm going to call this body the wick. Like this is the, what your trend line looks like. Your trend line looks like this. I can fat that up a little bit. Your volatility trend line and your time trend line. There's this discrepancy here. If you're really going to do that stuff, here, here's your trend line for goobers. Wax off. Trend lines for trend traders. Right? Or we'll do um, we'll do trend channels for trend lines. All right, so we have this inflection point here. So if you really like you really claim to love geometry, you've got to play the rollover in the channel on closing prices. 
Now, when you turn the candles on, you'd be like, oh, what, what's this trend line about? Now, actually, it broke out um, before, didn't it? Not really, because that trend line is based on this move, which, what is the internal structure turn rollover? What is the real trend line to break? This one right here. See, it's all happening at the zoo down here. Right there. See the, see the steepness I can get away with here where you couldn't draw that. You can't draw that on Wix. Can you? Can you draw that on Wix? On Wix it's going to look like... You can't, see? You can't because you're breaking the rule of... There's a book by um, Vic Sp Spadano. Trader Vic. Anybody read Trader Vic's book? He's a stickler. He makes a rule set about trend lines. It has to touch two places you project forward. Touch two places you project forward on the rod. But see, I have more places to touch on close. Why close? Close is a representation of the core trend volatility. Core trend volatility. If that's a... Maybe I just made that shit up, right? Wax, wax off, wax on. Totally different picture. Totally. Very hard for me to even see. You, you're actually selling bullish candles here. You can see the stop hunt. In a down market, you have to trade the price pulse. You call this a. I call this a. Uh, a trend price pulse you call it whatever you want trends exist but they they're momentary they're momentarily taking to another place is this going down how would you describe this price price action i think that's what he's saying pa was price action you don't understand price action well you know in a 15 minute chart if you're quick quick straw mcgraw you know where to be selling this right on limits right here in the supply zone Anything above you is supply, and anything below you is... Like, let's not get too fancy. We know there's supply down here. And we know there's uh, uh, whatever supply demand up here. All right, if this is your trailing stop on Wix, you just got stopped out. But the buyers got stopped in, and this is where your ATR bot, blind bot, gets crushed, right? But no worries because you didn't load, you didn't bet the ranch on that one strategy. And besides, um, if you're going to sell every up you sold here, also with a sell stop, with a, I mean, with a sell limit, in a, in a, you can do all, you can do them all actually. You can do them all because when you buy insurance, when you hedge, you know that you have to have better ratios because you're expecting a bigger move. You're expecting things to resolve themselves. And it could be one, two, three, four, five pips. On here, I don't even know how you would. I guess because this is trading so insanely that I can build very high res single drops for this for the Bitcoin because I could have a literally a fifteen hundred, a sixteen hundred, a seventeen hundred, I could and take it out to the extra decimal too. Now I'm up eighteen thousand. We're gonna ride this up to the Punch blast into previous support on the skeleton. Wax off. So we're going to go wax off. And where is the floor? Dead horizontal. 15 minute floor right here. Right there, right? That is our target. We are on the way to the target, people. I will close all profits when we hit the target, or we do not hit the target, wax on, fucking wax off. Karate Kid trading on Bitcoin. Karate Kid meets Bitcoin. I've done so many videos. I think I have a video where I do this one. Sitting there at night going, eh, here we go. Oh, sellers should come in there. Okay, how much you want? 20 grand tonight? Let's make uh, 10 grand. So I, took, I took some hits earlier right in the wrong script. Go down to close all profits. I'm trading on Evolve Markets. They're killing me, making me trade $1,000 of Bitcoin. Go to the trades window. Get ready for your finger on the trigger. What time is it, people? 
It's Saturday night, the bewitching hour in Bitcoin. We come up into here. I'm getting out. Fuck them. Boom. Bye bye. Anyways, wax on, wax off. Target's hit. Let her go. Let her cry.